Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of Stan Boney's videos, reviews, online gameplay, benchmarks, and hardware discussions. Uh, first off, I'd like to say Happy New Year to everybody, and I hope you had a great time last night. And I know that the time difference is a lot in a lot of places, so Happy New Year to all, whether it's early or late. It's a new year, 2009. So, what does that bring? It brings with it the first review of the new almighty NVIDIA GeForce GTX 295 dual GPU graphics card, which is state, slated to be released around January January 8th, I think they said. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over it today and we're going we're gonna to see what this bad boy is going to be looking like. All right, this is uh, NVIDIA's answer to the almighty ATI 4870X2. So let's take a look at it, look at some specs, then we'll look at some games and we'll see what, what, what's happening here. Let's find out. Let's find out who's, who's, uh, who's going to take over the reigning king spot of graphics cards. So let's first take a look at some of the, uh, some of the specs. For the uh, GTX... 295. Okay, we're looking at 240 by 2 stream shaders. The core clock will be running at 576 megahertz. The shader clock 1242. Memory clock 999. And the memory amount is 1792 megabytes. The memory interface is 448 bit by 2. And your dual link and your and your uh, HD capability is the same as any of the other cards. Okay, dual link and high definition definition output. Okay, so we looked at some of the uh, specs. Now let's see how this card is going to compare in some of the most recent high graphics games that are out there and. Let's judge it and see who's going to be the winner for the new year. Okay, so here we go. Far Cry 2. All right. The 4870X2 is in a dark blue, and the GTX 295 is in the green. So you really, you really only care about the two bars on the right of each, each uh, frame. So... It's looking like they're pretty much tied at the low resolutions. Uh, wow, look at this. The GTX 295 starts to take a lead as soon as the resolutions go up. And as they go up, the lead starts to get bigger and bigger. Wow, look at that. 2560 by 1600. Almost a 5%, 5 frame increase in Far Cry 2 over the ATI 4870X2. Call of Duty 5, World at War. Wow. This GTX looks like it's going to smoke the X2. Low resolution, there's no comparisons. 20 frames faster. As we get a little bit more graphically intense, the 4870 attempts to try to catch up, but regardless, at the end of the day, the GTX 295 still smokes 4870X2. Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. Again, look at this 295 GTX. The monster that NVIDIA released in every category from low resolution all the way on up to high resolution. Most people uh, don't have a 30-inch monitor, but th this, these cards are, st are, are designed for that. That's where they... That's where the pixels get so much more, and the it's up to the GPU. Most GPUs fall on their face after 1920 by 1200. But here you go, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, 2560 by 1600, 14 frames per second faster than the 4870X2. It's amazing. All right, guys, look at this, Crisis Warhead. No comparison all the way on up to 
the 2560 by 1600 where amazingly enough the 4870 X2 edges out the Nvidia card pretty surprising now that is about the only place that it edges it out this is uh, done in 2x anti-aliasing also this test but anywhere else below the highest setting this GTX 295 just absolutely destroys the 4870x2 it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see a comparison once you throw two of these monsters in SLI so all right here we go fallout 3 look at this dead even across the whole range of different resolutions that's pretty cool it has to be something in that game that that I don't know it must it must um not allow any physics or, or or havoc or whatever but they're exactly the same good job by both cards here you go dead space one of my favorite games that have come out this year wow would you look at that it's just astonishing the difference this gtx 295 does with this game i'm surprised with the new catalyst drivers that are put out for the 4870x2 they didn't uh, optimize it for this game, I guess. But the NVIDIA card just absolutely destroys the ATI 4870X2. We we're, talking, we we're talking nearly double the frame rates in every resolution. That is just truly amazing. Good job, NVIDIA. Okay, and here we go. Last but not least, Left 4 Dead, the game that keeps us all up till the wee hours of the morning, killing zombies and and just having a great old time. This game, it's all NVIDIA again. So guys, there you have it. There is about it's top seven games for 2008-2009, and it's looking like... Uh, we got a good battle going on here. Well, there you have it. The GTX 295 dual GPU graphics card. Ready to pawn. Alright. Well, you saw it right there. Those are the released specs. Okay. Um, the final specs are, will be released sometime after, two, after January 8th, I imagine. After the... Uh, computer uh, expo show which happens that day this card should be for sale so can we imagine two of these things stacked up together on a nice x58 board backed by some good CPUs boy this is gonna be a whole new realm I think All right well thanks for watching Stan Boney on YouTube and any questions on the new 295 GTX stop by Stan Boney's channel and We'll talk to you soon. Have a good new year. Thanks for watching.